I am five foot eight and 200 pounds. Needless to say, your boy likes to eat. So imagine this scenario, I'm at work, you know, living life, everything's good. I reach into my bag for lunch. Oh, lunch has finally come, thank the Lord. I forgot it. I don't have lunch. A wave of depression hits me. My blood glucose is dangerously low. I am defeated. But we take these negatives and we make them into positives. I didn't have a video for this week, didn't know what to do. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna go work out anyway after work. Why don't we do a little experiment on how working out on an empty stomach affects you. A lot of people in combat sports, they cut out a lot of food trying to make weight or, you know, people walking around just trying to lose weight will do drastic things trying to lose a couple inches on their waist. You know, there is a right way to do this kind of stuff and there's a wrong way to do this kind of stuff. So let's go to the extreme. Let's see how it affects my workout. Let's see how it affects my outcomes. That's what we're doing. Dog, that that was hard. It, it, it was harder than normal. I did like half of what I normally do. Just to compensate a little bit, like my stomach, as soon as I got in there, dude, I'm a, I'm, I'm a fat man, man. No food, no bueno. I was so hungry my cramps uh, oh man it was hard to focus once i started doing the workout that dissipated but i just felt sluggish i felt bad i didn't feel sharp yeah i mean i wouldn't recommend it i started out by doing uh, a run i did a mile run i did it in about nine minutes and 30 seconds it's actually it's decently good for me i do anywhere from like 8 40 to 10 minute miles the eight is pretty rare but as you can see i'm sweaty i'm gross already i'm tired already just very rough right off the bat then i went and i did some jump rope or i attempted to it was very hard not very good at jump rope in the first place probably because again heavy guy you know not good on the joints not 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 awesome but it's very good cardio uh i only did about two rounds of it and yeah man i was uh struggling through it i really was maybe you the supreme athlete could uh could could do it better and sure surely there are people out there that can but you know not me not little old me then i shadow boxed and you know that was pretty fine i feel like my punches were quite sluggish today just overall and that probably has to do with the fact that there was no energy from any kind of food stores for my body to pull from once you hit a certain threshold in in aerobic workout the body will switch from using its fat stores to using the food it's eaten to fuel the exercise since i didn't have anything in my stomach i didn't have that to go to so yes i was telling my body to do these things and i could do them but not to the same level that i usually do them so yeah my punches not very good pretty sluggish probably only got to a three punch combo the whole night and it's weird it's a weird feeling right because you know what you have to do you know what you're supposed to be doing uh and you can kind of do it but not to the level that you know you can do it i was going to try to uh incorporate double m bag and speed bag but i knew that my night was coming to an end so i went and did four rounds on the heavy bag now i tried to make them good rounds i tried to make them high uh my, my punch count high for all of those it wasn't going too well I did that to compensate for the lack of rounds because usually I do six to eight by myself, really focusing on technique and everything. But this time I just wanted to get the punches out, get the rounds done. And it was hard, man. Honestly, round two, halfway through, I was ready to, to be done. I started to take my gloves off and then I said, come on, man, a round and a half on the heavy bag. That's ridiculous. Come on, we, we can do better than that. I put them back on. I put my big boy pants on and finished up the workout. But it was hard. It wasn't easy. So should you be boxing, doing any kind of exercise on an empty stomach? No. No, you, you, you need to eat. People that are telling you to fast, telling you to cut out certain things like carbs, they're, they're, they're not right. Anybody worth their salt will tell you that they're not right. And it's all about moderation. It's about moderation. And it's something that like, that's the hard part. Like I struggle with that to moderate. But if you can do that, you will have better workouts, which means you'll have better results. So if you if you want to if you want to have bigger muscles, you'll have bigger muscles. If you want to be able to run further, you'll be able to run farther. If you aren't eating enough, you're not going to be able to do those things, and your 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 gains they're 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 going to suffer. So yeah, eat a well balanced diet. Eat in moderation. Cheat every so often. Have 
the pizza, dude. Just get back on it when you're done. It's all about moderation. You've heard a million people say this. You, I'm not telling you anything new. It's just, I am now a living example. You, you could see it, it just wasn't as good as it could have been. If you like this, please subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video. Do you, have you ever tried to do some crazy diet where you're not eating enough? Let me know. Let me know how it felt. Probably not good.